Do these ducks look peaceful? Help keep them that way. Take a fight alongside our proud sponsor. Pardon my French productions. Ooh la la. If you're just joining us, we are sitting here with Robert Childing, who we've just learned was the only witness present at the time of the murder, who we now know to be Jennifer Zaplinski, <coughs> area prostitute. Robert, thank you for joining us today. You're welcome. If you will, please explain to our viewers exactly what led up to that horrific event. Well, I was leaving the office that day, and I was running kind of late. I had to pick up my kids from daycare, and I just finished a meeting with a client. So it usually takes me about, say, 15 or 20 minutes to get to the metro station. So to shave a little time, I thought maybe I'd cut through a couple of alleys and, uh, you know, shave some time, as I said. Yes, go on. Well, right before I turned the alley, I saw some shadows on the wall with blood spattered all over it. My God. So I decided to take a peek around the corner to see just, it's really unspeakable, to be honest with you. Take your time, Robert. I saw something horrific. I mean, it'll be burned in my psyche for the rest of my life, let me tell you. There are two guys, both wearing black suits, actually. Uh, one of them had a camera, and they were filming. Um, yeah, they were filming, and then the other guy, if I remember correctly, he was beating this woman with what appeared to be like a copper or a lead pipe. You know? Right, the story. All the one guy could do was just hold his camera and he's recording the mayhem. So the two guys brought out a black bag and then the guy with the camera turned towards me and he saw me. And at that point, I just turned around and I got the hell out of there. I'm sorry, Robert, we're gonna have to take this time to go to a brief commercial break. Okay. But if you hold on to your thoughts, we'll come back to your heart-wrenching story. In my life, I've been a great many things. Father, husband, editor, lover, monster. What I'd like to tell you about is perhaps my greatest achievement. This, friends, is the story of the day I became a teacher. The day I became a student. Decide for yourself if a former crackhead wasn't really trying to buy drugs. Can you give us your story, and uh... Yeah, these these three cops. They're always targeting me. Well, you don't have to necessarily give me poetry right now. You understand what I'm saying? Who is on the other side of the park? She she started walking towards me, and what'd you say I about? I see I see you down here looking. You know. Go ahead and just buy it. You know, I, I'm only doing this just I gotta get my kid through surgery. Yeah, you got a kid. And that's what she told me. That's not. It's not my kid. Well, I'm having trouble following this. Yeah. Okay. In a channel two exclusive with Dave Camacho. Thank you for joining us. We are sitting here today with Robert Childing, sole witness to the murder of Jennifer Zaplinski. Now, Robert. Describe for us, if you will, these two maniacs. Yeah, sure. Um, well, there was the guy with the pipe. <clears throat> he wore glasses. He wasn't tall. Actually, kind of short. Anyway, then there's the guy with the uh, camera. He was about the same height, um, kind of short also. I didn't really get a good look at his face, because, I, like I said, I got out of there. Now, Robert, I don't mean to alarm you, were you aware that these two maniacs are still out there and could very well be committing these heinous acts over and over again? That's disgusting. I don't even want to know what those guys are doing right now. You know, I wish I could have done something to help her or even save her, but I, mean, I just took off like, like a coward. I don't think you're any involvement? 
home with those two murderers would surely have cost you your life. I'll never forget the sinister eyes of the camera guy. I mean, he looked at me right after he killed her. It was just, I mean, they're regular eyes, but they were just dark. Now, Robert, it wasn't your fault. There was nothing you could do for her. The situation was totally beyond your control. Thanks. She was trash. Excuse me? These lunatics were treating her like trash. No, you just said it like she was trash, didn't you? Robert, please stay on. Could you describe for us the cameras that these... What, the cameras? What does that have to do with it? I mean, it was a black camera. You, there are thousands of them out there. Any information can help the police locate the killers. Were there any distinguishing marks? Were they big? Were they small? The Washington, D.C. metropolitan region is filled with camera crews. We want the public to be alert. I don't know. It was a small camera. Yeah, black, about this big. Uh, actually, kind of like the cameras you guys use, matter of fact. Could you describe for us the weapon, these two? Yeah, um, and we're using. it's a little graphic, maybe a copper pipe, it looked kind of reddish, sort of. Um, Was it something? I'd say almost identical. Where'd you get that? Did the police, uh... Oh, I found it. You found it. Were you actually at the scene yourself? I mean, were you reporting, or...? I was there. Oh, when the press got there. I really didn't see you, though. Yeah. Um, no, I mean, they're, you know, it's, it was like paparazzi. I felt I like a Hollywood star. No, I mean, there was this one cute blonde reporter for a second, but, yeah, don't tell my wife. Uh, um, what do you think this show is about? What are you doing? <laughs> this is like, do you think this America show's done. Do you think cares about your opinions? They don't? Um, they don't care, Rob. What are you doing? You know what? heard of snuff films, Robert. It's a big market for those. What? Big ah! market for ah! snuff films. Ah. People want to see reality. What the hell is this going is on? reality. Ah! This is reality. Ah! Ah!